Oh, goodness, hello. Hello. I was just coming out to um, video. There's a whole heap of cockatoos down there under my fruit tree. Hello. Do you remember me? Hmm? Who are you? You all look the same. Hello. You're very close to me, aren't you? There's my hand there. <laughs> Hi. Look at all your friends down there eating, eating the fruit. It's a citrus tree. I didn't think they liked citrus. Hi, you're getting closer. What's up? Hmm? Are you one of the cockatoos I used to feed? You're very close. It's only a foot from me. There's my hand. Are you going to bite me? <laughs> Hello? Uh, I don't know that I'd trust you with that big beak. Here comes another one. See, I stopped feeding them because they were chewing chewing the deck and chewing my fairy lights and things like that so I stopped feeding them but they've come back to eat the the fruit off he goes g'day guys welcome back welcome to pouring your heart out now today I'm going to pour my little heart out with this gorgeous geode shaped silicon mold that I have um, it's in my eBay store if you want one and I'm going to do something really simplistic beautiful but hopefully elegant I am just going to do white blooms with a little bit of gold center so let's get started now pour some resin into each of these cavities now this is the Platinum Art Coat. It's the one that we need to wait for. It is thick, but it has a long work time. So like 70 minutes, seven zero minutes. So I like to wait until, usually, usually you wait sort of half. If your work time is 60 minutes, you wait 30. If your work time is um, I don't know 40 minutes you might wait 20 so at least that's that's kind of how I I work it um, but because it's a little bit cooler today in the studio I'm going to just maybe push it to 40 minutes my wait time so I've waited 20 minutes mixed the resin I did 125 grams of A and 115 grams of B and it's just been sitting for 20 minutes Let's see if they're equal and then I'm going to mix up my white and put my center in and fluff around a bit <laughs> and then um, I'll come back after 20 minutes and um, do the bloom so in here I'm going to put 40 grams um, almost an ounce and a half just in there Actually, I'll do an ounce and a half. I'll do 45. 45 grams. I probably won't need it all, but, you know, you'd rather have enough than, than run out, hey? So there we go. That's 45 grams in there. Um, I don't know if I want any more, actually. These, these um, mould cavities aren't, you know, quite as big as my four round. Uh, which is 12 centimeters these are kind of 11 and a half centimeters but then they've got that wiggledy edge so they're not quite as big so i probably won't use it all i'll just leave it over there right um and they can just sit there for a minute now the white i'm using is the cast and craft only because i'm sort of doing some beginner videos lately only because um, it's easy to, to measure, you know, you've got, okay, one and a half ounces in there, 40, 45 grams, I'm going to do four drops, I cut the top off so that it doesn't 
um, it's not too difficult for it to come out. One, two, three, four. Don't squeeze too hard. You don't want your drops to be overly huge. You just want them to sort of drip down on their own. So that's four. And then we're going to double that. We're going to go eight drops of the pinata white, Blanco Blanco. Make sure you shake it really, really well because the alcohol sits on top and then the white pigment sits on the bottom. So you have to shake it really, really well. Now the alcohol I find helps the blooms to spread because it's it's lighter. Do you remember when I was doing my feather, my little sort of feathering videos oh, over a year ago, I guess, you may have noticed that the more alcohol I use, the more my feathers spread and the less alcohol I used, the more the colors dropped. So let's do that. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Although by the time I come to use it, the alcohol is all going to be evaporated. So I don't know if <laughs> it will make much difference. All right, let's give that a bit of a stir. So it's 20 degrees in my studio at the moment, 20 degrees Celsius. It's just after midday. This is about as warm as it's going to get today. Not bad for a winter though, is it? 20 degrees in winter. It's quite nice in the sun, nice and warm. Right, so that can just sort of sit there for a minute. And also the other thing about using the cast and craft is you don't have to dip your stick into the paste and then your stick gets all white and you don't know how opaque it is. So you can sort of, I don't know if you can see, you can sort of see the the stick through when you tip it right over. It's kind of like skim milk, I guess. But those of you who are just beginning or maybe have been doing it for a while or are struggling, if I give you the recipe, um, hopefully it'll help you out a little bit. Right, so now the gold, this is just crushed gold glass pieces. Actually, I'm going to take my gloves off now because I probably don't need those on anymore. Give it a little torch. This is my little torch. I found it. They were packed. But I do like using them because they they don't have as big a flame. They only have a tiny little flame. You probably can't even see it. <laughs> tiny little flame. So yeah, you don't want a, a big flame anywhere near your silicon moulds. And there's a little here. Alright, so I'm going to, hopefully I can find the middle. I've just got these little tiny spoons and I'm just going to pop a little bit in the centre there. So yeah, basically I'm just going to do white blooms and I'm probably going to do three different, uh, four different sort of designs with my four coaster cavities. I'm only doing a little level spoon, whatever that little spoon is. I don't even know where these came from actually. I think I bought something and they sent them with, I'm not, not sure. Um, so there we go, little crushed glass. Now let's just poke them down. So yeah, I thought I'd do different designs in each. Um, when I'm doing a center like this, I don't like the like the pieces to be too small because when you unmold, it just looks like this big round blob in the center. Whereas if you do something that's a little bit bigger and it's kind of got a little bit of a 3D look to it like this, um, they tend to just look a little bit more natural. But I don't want a huge center. And also they sink rather than float away, so that's also a bonus. Because it's the other side that you're going to be looking at, isn't it? Not the top. So you want it to, to sink. Oh, it's got a bit more. All right, so basically that's it. Um, I will come back to you when it's almost my 40 minute mark. And it'll be ready to put in the piping bag and we'll pipe some petals and then hopefully uh, you know if they look pretty if they've worked then I'm gonna go around the outside with my gold pen that's that's the idea anyway of just doing it this way nice and simple and elegant see you soon right so it has been 39 minutes <laughs> So I've got one minute to get myself organized and start piping and that'll be the 40 minute marked.
So, oops, I should have stirred this again, shouldn't I? I actually took its temperature, it's only 32 degrees, so it's not like when I do the Platinum 360 Plus, um, I wait till it gets to 40 degrees. It's a much thinner resin. It's got a, a shorter work time, so it also gets hot faster. Obviously, the, uh, the more work time that your resin has, it's going to take a lot longer to, to gel, to set up. So it's going to you know, warm up more slowly, if that makes sense. Right, pull that into my little piping bag. So much to learn, isn't there, with this technique? But once you've mastered it, it's, it's lovely. It's really fun to do. Um, all I can suggest is pick one resin. Pick a thick resin, if you can. Pick a nice thick resin and practice with it. And write down what you do. Right, I'm going to chop that off, probably about four or five millimeters so that it comes out in a nice line. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do a different design on each one. This one's just going to have petals like this. Probably should have done five in hindsight. <laughs> Hindsight's a lovely thing. Get another one around there. Okay, so that's that one done. Only because I like odd numbers. All right, now the next one is going to be similar to that, but it's just going. I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to worry about where the petals are going. They're just they're just gone. Support my right hand with my left hand. I don't know, it just makes it easier. And for some reason, I'm always off center. Try and get right up to the edge if you can without touching the, the edge. Oops, now I'm going backwards. There we go, that was that one done. Now, the next one, this one up here, I'm just gonna do big kind of loopy loops like this. Overlapping, big loopy loops. Okay, that's that one done. And the last one, I'm just going to do rings and then pull the stick through like I normally do. Well, not normally, but just sometimes do. Just so that you can see four different types of piping and four different effects of that, those pipings. I don't know why I'm always off center, always off center. All right, so that's it. And I've got a little tiny bit left. But like I said, I'd rather have, oh, and I, oh, I put, um, I put some resin in my little heart when you weren't looking, when I was waiting. I thought, oh, I've got resin left. Let's use it up. So it's not much much in there. There's really not much I can do with it really but there we go. Little little heart, a <laughs> little petal in there. Okay so um, now where's my stick? Now this little stick here I just need to try and just sort of break up any big blobs if I see big blobs. It's a bit tricky because you don't want to break up your petal design. So I sort of follow the line underneath if I see a, a blob. And then I'm just going to kind of swirl the top a little bit, just over the top of the, the glass. Uh, now this one, because I stopped and then started and then stopped and then started, where you stop and start, you end up with a little um, blob. So I'm just going to just take my stick through all that, that row of blobs and hopefully that will stop them from falling through to the back. And then again, we'll just give it a little swirl just on top of that glass, just so it looks attractive. I'll come back to that one. This one, I don't need to touch the sides at all because there's no real blobbing. I'll just do that. And then this one, 
um, like I normally do if you look at it like a clock 12 3 6 9 that's where you're gonna pull your stick through I don't think that one was deep enough um, and then have that and then you could of course just leave it like that if you wanted to and you know I think I will because the others have all got curves on the outside and if I pull my stick back through it'll have points so I'm going to leave it and they can all have curls on, curves <laughs> not curls curves on the side and a little swirl now what are we going to do with you hmm little trouble child that you are I think we probably need a little bit more of an effect going on in here I don't really know what to do with it but there we go um, little little swirl in the middle <laughs> okay so just to give it a quick little torch again just because pulling all those sticks through and the, the piping creates a little bit of air this one needs just a little bit more white in the center Probably won't be able to see it really underneath the, the glass, but it just didn't look as dark as the others did. All right, you guys, so that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we'll see what the 40 minute mark is like. Um, yeah, only because this resin, even though it's nice and thick, it's got a longer working time. So giving, giving it... 40 minutes. There's a bubble stuck to the side. All right, uh, let's, oh, let's go and have a look, hey? Shall we go and have a little look? See what it's doing? See if they're blooming? So hopefully they'll just be nice and elegant. Try and turn my light up a little bit. People are still complaining. Complaining, hey? Free videos and complaining. Oh, geez Louise. Complaining it's too dark. I try my best, you guys. I've got as many lights on as I can. <laughs> I'm doing my best. All right, so there we go. They look as if they're blooming. Yay, it's always a good feeling, isn't it? Yay, when they bloom. All right, um, I will come back to you later on today. I might even wait for tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see what the, see how they're doing. Maybe tonight before it gets dark. And we'll unmold them. So see you soon. Righto, guys, it's the next day. They look as if they've bloomed beautifully. I got sidetracked yesterday. I couldn't come back and do them. And then when I could, it was dark. And then I thought, oh, we'll just wait for the next day when the sun's out. So they look as if they've closed in. These two have closed in really well. These ones where I did um, like more gaps between them, you can see that there's more gaps between them. So it's really up to you, you know, what sort of look you want. If you want them to all close over, um, you know, then pipe your lines either thicker or closer together. Um, but if you want a little bit of negative space, like that one, <laughs> doesn't it look amazing on that timber? On the timber look. Yes, yeah, so you can decide how you want them, really. Get this little dude out. I don't know that he worked all that well, actually, because um, the little bit of resin that I had left in my cup it kind of started to to set so um yeah it's probably didn't work all that well right oh, now i have got my little black card just so that we can see the actual bloom better but i don't want to put black over the top of it all right now we'll start with this one because i think i poured this one first so we've got some lovely negative space around there We'll do this and let's see the other side. Oh, that worked out really pretty. Look at that. So nice. Wow. So that 40 minute mark worked a treat. They've all bloomed. Nothing's dropped through. So pretty. And I like how you can see like your bench top or your table or whatever through those. I think it looks really pretty. All right, this one. Oh, my center's not exactly in my center. Move over. <laughs> oh, 
I try to work out where the center is. It doesn't always work. Really pretty. Love that overlapping look. All right, so that's that one. And then this one was the one where I pulled through with the stick. Oh, so nice. That's probably my favorite, actually. And see, I've got a little bit of clear all the way around the edge there. But I am going to put my, I've got my gold pen here, so I'm going to do that in a minute. Love how that's worked out with the swirl. I think I probably would have liked this one better if it had five blooms, but the four bugs me. I just think they look nicer in threes or fives. All right, and then that one. So you can see that one. This is the one where I just did the big loops, the overlapping loops. So when you do the, the piece at the top like that, it spreads more. But when you do the vertical ones, they don't really spread to the side. So that's why you do get that extra... Um, negative space but if that's the kind of look you're going for then do it that way but if you do the, if you do your blooms horizontally like this then they spread down and they'll cover in more so there you go and the little dude there you go all right chuck him <laughs> oh, it was an afterthought all right now um i'm going to do this one because it's my favorite and i've got my little bit of my card, which I push down like this to make sure that my colour's coming down. And there's nothing to sand because um, this is the other side. Now this particular mould, this is, oh, this was my old one. This has got the um, geode, like, rock edges. Um, I do still have the rock edge mould in a six cavity. But I've changed the four cavity to just smooth edges in case anybody just wants a smooth edge. I know when um, Sherry Moulton, hey Sherry, I, I sent her um, a freebie. I sent her the six, I think. She wasn't particularly <laughs> impressed with the rock edges. She said they were difficult to paint. So I thought, okay, take that on board and... Um, I'll make a smooth edged one. Although I think you should use it again, Sherry. It's a lovely mold. All right, so all the, all the way around. I probably need to do two coats, actually. You've got to be careful where you hold it. See, because I've got gold on my finger, and if I hold it on the top there, I'm going to get gold on the top of my coaster. So we'll just go around really quickly. <laughs> it does take a little while, doesn't it? All right, push it to gain. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to do two coats. So I'm going to go and do all of these um, so that I can show you the finished product at the end. But I like to do just the, the top rim. Um, to finish it off. I think that looks really pretty. And look, you probably don't even need to do the sides if you don't want to, but this is the fun bit. I like to do this. Now, if your pen gets a little bit fluffy on top, you can just trim it with scissors, which I did before. Before I started, I just gave it a little trim up with some scissors because it was getting all fluffy and puffy on top. So I just put the pen nib in the center there and let it run right along. Oops. If you make a mistake, you can rub it off. If you rub it quick enough, but if you leave it on there for like more than a few seconds, you'll need um, nail polish remover or acetone to get it off. Right, so there it is. There's one done. What do you think? Looks pretty against the um, the black looks. Uh, sorry, the gold looks pretty against the um, the little clear and the white, doesn't it? And then a little bit of gold in the centre, bit of fluff. So there you go. Right, I'm going to do the rest, and um, I'll set them up for a photo. I am going to need two coats, so maybe my pen's running low. Uh, all right. I wonder what the other one. I the other one's better. I don't know. Sometimes I like one pen and sometimes I like the other. There's this one. 
Pen touch. It's got a much thicker nib. I'll have a go. It has a different different colour. Some of them are a brighter gold and some of them are a darker gold. This one's the darker gold. The nib's harder though, like it's even though it probably covers a bit better. I'll probably get away with one coat. But um it's that gold there I think is much darker. I think this gold is is a better gold. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I'll finish them off and uh, I'll see you for the next video. So let me know what you think of these little guys. I think they're really pretty and they look really elegant just with the um, your table showing underneath. You don't always have to have, you know, an opaque colour on the other side. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care. Bye for now.